For the current administration to deliver good governance to Nigerians as promised, much lies on the shoulders of the appointees. With this in mind, the new ministers are settling down to hit the ground running. Here they are getting themselves well acquainted with the development plans and strategies already charted for adequate implementation of the eight priority areas in line with the renewed hope agenda of the federal government. The primary purpose of this retreat is to foster a deep understanding of the operational principles, challenges and expectations that define your responsibilities as ministers. Entrusted with the mandate of driving the agenda for development, stability and growth in their sectors, they also need to be well equipped with the insights and guidance necessary for effective performance in the federal government's priority and aspirations. And they should avoid any semblance of affluence and quest for material things. And that way, if they operate on this tenors, uh, they will come out fine and they will be able to deliver. We have our national security, which is core. We have our food security. Our agriculture is important. Um, our power sector is core to um, enabling industrialization. We have priorities among priorities, but indeed, all those eight priorities are core to Mr. President in ensuring he meets the renewed hope agenda. There is also the need for the new ministers to understand their roles and align with the goals of the administration to navigate the regulatory frameworks, finance and procurement processes. Data is very important. Once we have data, we have just partial distribution of poverty. We can share this data with the state government, with local government, with our private sector, international partners, so that individuals also can intervene. Intervention must, must be holistic. They are also expected to promote a culture of integrity within their ministries as well as uphold the highest standards of ethics and accountability.